What up YouTube, Asian Persuasion here, Team DKF, here today with the box opening video of the new Millennium Pack. It came out today, April 15th, and I'm just going to go ahead and go into it because there's so many packs. It's basically like a duelist pack, you get only 5 cards per pack, and you get 36 packs per box. So this might take a second. I'll go slow at first, I guess, to show you guys what cards are in here, but then I'll start speeding up through the middle of it, I guess. So let's see if we can get some good cards. A lot of alternate art stuff in here. Pretty cool stuff. Mainly getting it for this one card called Card of Demise. That's what I'm looking for, so hopefully I get it. We'll find out. Alright, so we're going to start with the right side first. See what we can get. Uh, we get a rare Thousand Eyes Alternate Art Thousand Dragon. A super rare Trap Hole Spikes. Uh, Tiger Axe, Five Headed Dragon, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Alright, so I guess I'll keep the rares here, hollows there, commons there. There we go. So, hollow first pack, good start. Another card we can use Reflazia with. <laughs> Speaking of Reflazia, we get Acid Trap Hole. Another trap card. Scapegoat, Tiger Axe, Go for the Lightning, and Shrink. Yeah, so if you guys go to Walmart or something, they're only $2 a pack because they're basically a duelist pack, so. Oh, here we go, guys. We got a cool instant fusion. Flame Swordsman. Look at the cool art. That's Japan's original art. That looks pretty tight. I like it. Contract with the Abyss, Exodius, Spiral Spear Strike, and Relinquished. So, yeah, a lot of nostalgic cards in this, basically. Oh, there you go. It's talking about nostalgia. There's Yugi's go to guy, Celtic Guardian. I like that art. Looks pretty cool. Oh! That is the card I was looking for, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Card of Demise. If you guys don't know what this is, here we go. Zoom in. Draw until you have three cards into your hand. Also, for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, your opponent takes no damage during the end phase of this turn. Send your entire card or entire hand to the grave, and you can only activate one card of Demise per turn, and you cannot special summon during the turn you activate this card. So, yeah, this is going to be a pretty game-changing card, I feel. I don't know what you guys think, but let me know down below what you guys think. If you don't think it's going to change our meta. Uh, Dark Paladin. That's a good reprint. That's pretty cool. So yeah, card demise. Sweet. One down, two to go for me. Oh man, you guys remember this from the old anime. Symbol of Friendship. Oh man, that's an old goodie right there. Uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Gandora. Metal Morph. And the alternate art crush card. I'm really sad they alternate arted these. Or not alternate art, but Carter rotted it. They should keep those cards alone and reprint new ones with other effects is what I think they should have did. It kind of takes away from the nostalgia of the game, really, honestly. Widespread Ruin, alternate art from Japan. Pretty cool. Holding Arms. That's a new guy. Normal Summon, Special Summon, Target One, Face Up, Monster. Oh, I think the other one's True Nade. That one's the good one. I don't think that one's okay. But the original Pendulum. <laughs> Doing it before Pendulums were cool, guys. Another alternate art card, Joey's card, Panther Warrior, pretty cool. Red Eyes Black Metal, Vicer Dez, Tomb World, La Jin. Oh, no, oh yeah, one of Yugi's favorites. Guy of the Fierce Knight, that one actually looks cool. This alternate art version. Relinquished, Nightmare Wheel, Ring of Destruction, and Black Skull Dragon. Not too shabby so far. As the trap hole again. Shrink. Ring of Destruction. Launcher Spider. Nightmare Wheel. I'm going to put these up here. So far, holding arms. Man, card demises. I feel like it's a game changer, man. That that changes the way to de build your decks. Kunai with Chain Alternate Art. Pretty awesome. Tiger Axe. Wow. Dub oh wait, I thought that was double black skull dragon. I was like, dang, that's crazy. Alright. Another acid trap hole. Relinquished. Exodius. Yeah, they're starting to repeat, so I'm gonna start speeding up. I'll start slowing down when I see cards that I haven't seen yet. Widespread ruin. Contract. Exodius. Spiral spear strike. Another cool flame swordsman. Pendulum Machine, Crush Card, Launcher Spider. 
this one feels like a hollow, guys. Panther Warrior. Oh, called it. Holding Legs. Level 4 Dark Fiend. If this card is summoned, return all set spell trap cards on the field to their hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one set spell trap. Your opponent controls, and that card cannot be activated until the end of your opponent's next turn. This card is actually kind of cool. I don't know what you're going to use them in, but... Oh, check this out. They're like opposites of each other. Holding arms, holding legs. Or if you do it this way. That looks kind of cool. I like that. Same card. Different position. Different text. Different text. <laughs> Oh, cool. Kaiba's Xyz XYZ Dragon Cannon. This is the first Xyz, guys. Except it was a fusion. And you didn't say Xyz, you said XYZ. <laughs> oh, nice. Got the other... Uh, I got the uh, cover card. Millennium... What, or not Millennium. The Winged Dragon of Raw Immortal Phoenix. So that's pretty cool. Check out that text. The Divine Beast. Yep. So cannot be normal summon set, must be sub special summon by its own effect, cannot be special summon by other ways. If Wing Dragon Raw is sent from the field to the grave, while this card is in your grave, special summon this card. Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card, or effects activation. And this card is unaffected by other card effects. Pay 1,000 life points to send one monster from the field to the grave. During, once per turn during either end phase, uh, send this card to the graveyard, and you do special summon one your Dragon of Raw sphere mode from your deck, ignoring the summoning conditions. Ooh, pretty cool. So two ultras so far. Oh, almost done with the right side. It's gonna take a while. When I saw 36 packs in a box, I figured it's gonna take a take a good second. But I'd say that uh, right side is not too bad. One card to demise, one Phoenix, Panther Warrior again. This one feels like a super. Nope. Ring of Destruction, Nightmare Wheel. All right, left side. This is the last stuff. Alright. Uh, oh, cool. Another new card. Sky Galloping Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Artwork looks pretty badass. So, one Gaia, the Fierce Knight Monster, and one Dragon Type Monster. This card's name becomes Gaia. What's well, on the field? And if it's a special summon, you can add one Spiral Spear Strike from your deck or grave to your hand. And when this card declares an attack on your opponent's monster, you can change the battle position. That's pretty cool. So, that's another hollow. Exodia's crush card. I don't know why I'm just counting the crush cards you get a box. <laughs> just for fun. Symbol of friendship. Oh, nice. Another ultra rare. Curse of Dragonfire. That's basically Curse of Dragon, but with an effect, and it's cool looking. It's on fire. So this card is no more special summon. Target one field spell card on the f uh, field and destroy it. And once per turn, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using the fusion materials, including this card. So that's a pretty cool way to make Gaia. Tiger Axe, Guilford. I just want one more card demise. One more. I don't want the Rebellion card in here. I want card demise. Metal Morph. Sorry for the long video, guys, but when you open Duelist packs like this, it takes forever. You want to get five cards a pack, and it's going to take a good while. But I guess it's fun. Celtic Guardian. Ring of Destruction, Widespread Ruin. Another Flame Swordsman. Oh, here's a super. Here we go. Uh, the true name. The spell card. Declare one card name. Excavate the top card of your deck. And if it's the declared card, add it to your hand. And then add up to your hand or special summon. Or add to your hand or, or special summon one divine monster from your deck. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Merrick's cards, I think. Cool. Tomb Row, another crush card. Man, a lot of purple cards in here. I don't remember that time I got so many fusions. Oh, shit. I got it, guys. I got two in this box. Card of Demise times two. That is what is up. I'm excited. Ooh, yeah. Agent Power's activating today. This is what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> oh, wow. A Curse of Dragonfire. Two Ultras, back to back. That's awesome. Pretty sure you're not supposed to get that many Ultras in a box. Whatever. 
I ain't complaining. Thanks, Co Money. You the best. <laughs> Another true name. Another crush card. Guy the Fierce Knight. We're getting down to the last pack, guys. It's almost over. I applaud you guys, stay, guys for staying and watching. You're all the best. Simple heritage. We got two packs left, guys. I doubt there's any ultras left. I'm pretty sure there's probably one super or none left. Wow! How many ultras are you supposed to get in a box? I got Rebellion, so that's a new card. During either player's battle phase, target one monster your opponent controls take control into the end of the battle phase, and other monsters you control can attack for the rest of the turn, and you can only activate one per turn. Wow. I really don't think you're supposed to get that many ultras in a box. It's not like secrets or anything, so... Oh, wow. Nope. We got a trap pull of spikes. And there he is. Alright, I'm going to do a little fast recap. Oh, jeez. Okay, holding leg. That's pretty cool. Alright, so recap time. We got a lot of ultras. So we got two Curse of Dragonfire. One Sky Galloping as a super. Two of these as a super. One of each, the arms and the legs as supers. And then the true name. We got two of those. We got one Rebellion. We got one Winged Dragon of Raw. And we got two Card of Demise. Which is, I feel like is a chase card in this set. So, I don't really understand. I don't know if you guys know, but... If you guys know how many Ultra you're supposed to get. But I totally got six in this box. And I don't think that's right. But I'm not going to complain because I got two of this. And that's what I wanted. So, let me know what you guys think down below of this set. How cool it is. How you like these alternate art guys down here brings back some nostalgia for me I, I think it's pretty cool and that's about it guys team dkf signing out peace